pretty people. It's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. And when I say I'm a beauty pro, I actually am a professional makeup artist and a brand I've been having a little fun with lately, and that is Chanel. And this foundation is their Healthy Glow Foundation. The emphasis is on hydration, but it makes a very unique claim that it's also long wear. Usually, glowy, dewy foundations are not synonymous with wearing a long time, so we're going to see. So with this and any of your foundations, be sure to shake them up really well you have the option of using the brush or sponge whichever is more comfortable for you but I would say the more fluid a foundation is the more I lean toward the brush application because obviously the sponge absorbs more of your product and a brush will apply your liquids and lay them down on the skin and disperse them and blend them better with the liquids though, I do like to come in for one either final stipple with the brush to really smooth out the surface and make sure you don't have any streaks. At the end, you can come in with your sponge. And with these types of formulas, I will use a dry one. Typically, it's good to have it moistened so it can really perform at its peak. But with the more fluid and more glowy, a dry sponge is nice to kind of merge it with the skin and pick up any excess moisture. I have been loving all of those Marc Jacobs face brushes. So today I want to use the face three. You know I've been hooked on that face two. Big, beautiful, dense brush. And when the bristles are so tightly packed like this, it performs like a sponge without doing the soaking up of your product like a sponge. The paddle brush is more prone to streaks with formulas like these. And then I'm gonna use my Surface Simple uh, Mixing Palette and Palette Knife uh, from Beauty Blender. I have a couple of these, obviously, in my Pro Kit. These are essential for san sanitary purposes because anything liquid, cream, lipsticks, anything liquid or cream, you would scoop out and put on a palette. You would never double dip or use a wand or an applicator directly from a product to a client or a model. Most of mine are metal, but I love this brand because it's clear, so it's really good for mixing shades and you can see right through to the individual. It prevents you from wasting product. I notice people love to pump directly on the face. That's an accident waiting to happen. The first things you'll notice about this is that signature fragrance. It feels good and hydrating going on the skin. And you can instantly see the light to medium coverage. It has a little bit more coverage than I anticipated. The shade I selected is BD71, Beige Doré. And the Doré is for gold, so it's a golden undertone. For reference, I am typically NC44 or NC45 in MAC. NC45 tends to be slightly warm, but I can wear it comfortably. If you're in a hurry, this is a nice style of brush too because it practically takes up your entire face. If there was a drawback to this brush, I would say that you can't get into the tight areas of the face as well. This will not give you full coverage, but it will give you a comfortable medium, which means it will camouflage imperfections, but if you have any significant discoloration or anything of that nature, then you will have to add concealer. A little bit about the ingredients, it's uh, water-based, but it also has silicones, which are ingredients that allow products to lay smoothly on the skin and they can also help hold in hydration. Glycerin is high on this list and I see a couple of botanicals as well so it'll have some skin nourishing uh, benefits. Tocopherol which is vitamin E and metal foam seed oil so very uh, glowy ingredient. For something this glowy of a formula, you would think you might get more streaks or maybe some unevenness, but it spreads even. I'm gonna add a little more, allow it to set to the extent that it does naturally, come back and show you what the finish is before adding any concealer or powder or anything like that. Okay, so this is the foundation all settled down on the skin. And even if I take my dry, beauty blender and gently tap to merge it into the skin you will see that it really still remains very glowy in the finish sometimes a girl just wants to be dewy even an oily skin girl sometimes doesn't mind being dewy because it really does look fresh youthful 
healthy and some people definitely prefer a more matte finish but if you're into that healthy dewy glow this is it chanel does say this foundation is long wearing and to my surprise it was it even held up under a mask which is very surprising so it's it's formulated and blended very well the pigments are blended very well into the base so while at the end of the day i did have some light wear i didn't see a lot of creasing that you would expect from a formula that's dewy on one occasion when i tried it at the end of the day i forgot that this was the foundation i was wearing and i was like why am i so dewy and then i remembered it's the foundation so it actually does keep that dewy finish and that uh, sheer to medium coverage throughout the entire day. Is I'll add a little concealer just to give a little lift under the eye. I'll add a light bit of powder and I'll come back with some final thoughts. So I'm back with the finished look, which is essentially a full face of Chanel that you will get to enjoy in another video. Here it is lightly powdered. I lightly powdered it with the Chanel Loose Powder, the original formula. I'm absolutely loving this so you probably hear me rave about this quite a bit in videos to come but now if you like a medium foundation and you like your foundation to feel nourishing going on but you do want to mattify it a little bit then you might like this the presentation is true chanel fashion a beautiful glass bottle and i love that items from the Le beige have that little beige accent and in this case the beige and black CC. It is truly a healthy glow foundation. It lays on the skin, it's even, it applies beautifully, it wears surprisingly long to be a glowy foundation. It gives more coverage than I anticipated because it gives a good solid medium coverage and it doesn't break apart like a lot of foundations that are dewy can. Now my personal taste is flawless. However, I like to be dewy and I like an occasional sort of natural day so i'll definitely reach for this this is a nice everyday wear and when i want to do something radiant and glowy and like maybe when i do one of my cream based looks or i really want to use like cream blushes and bronzers and things like that this would be a nice finish for those as well it does remind me of a couple of other foundations that have dewy finishes. I'll have to pull those and do some comparisons. Let me know if you've tried it. I'll be curious to know what your thoughts are. I enjoyed trying it for you. I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. But until next time, keep it pretty.